Aquaba. Welcome back to Dine's channel. Guys, you are looking at the dream team of Ting Nice. But before I get straight into it, and I know you guys, you know, you need the questions to be asked, and I'm surely going to ask them. But let me point out, Ox, raise your hand who is Ox, member of the dream team. Guys, I spoke to Ox on the phone, and I've arrived here, met Ox, talked to Ox, and I said, wait a minute, um, Ox, by the way, you're Jamaican, right? Ox says he's not Jamaican. Guys, let Ox tell you in a second where he's from. But Dan S is not easily fooled. But I'm telling you, I made a wrong assumption because Ox sounds Jamaican and move Jamaican. So that, but there is a Jamaican connection. We have T. T, raise your hand. Yes. Another member of the dream team. And of course, Chef Biggs yeah. is back in the house. And um, this is the face of Ting Nice. I'm going to go and um, go back to Ox. Ox, where are you born? Born in England still. You're born in England still? Mm -hmm. um, where did the Jamaican connection come in? Boy, ever since me, me a grow, me and the Jamaican them just a mix from there, isn't it? From the beginning of time, me and them just a mix from school days, you get me? I mean, the love for reggae music and everything, you see? And you have been associating with Jamaican so much so that you fell in love with one, yes, and the wife is Jamaican. Definitely. With that then, Ox, you have the Jamaican card right there. four kids as well. Four kids. Yeah, half Jamaican, half Ghanaian. Uh, Ox, you're born in UK of Ghanaian parents. Yes. How long have you been living in Ghana? Uh, eight months now. Eight months? Eight months, yeah. But now, obviously, you traveled back and forth as back a kid? Back and forth, yeah. Okay, so can you speak tree? Yeah, I can speak tree. You better say, because you do not sound like any Ghanaian. You sure you're, you're, sure you're, you're, you're a Ghanaian? T, is he Ghanaian? Big Z is Ghanaian? Jamaican. Yes. I was going to say, Jamaican, I'm going to change the language. Right. So, awesome. So, Ox, you're um, UK born yeah, of Ghanaian parents. Yes. But you're a Ghanaian, an African, as you say, through and through, right? Through and through, yeah. But you moved fully to Ghana eight months ago. Eight months ago, yeah. T, how you, how, how you, how you got involved in this thing? Where are you born, T? I'm born in East London. Um, I had Jamaican family. Yes. So I've been eating Jamaican food since I was like, I could eat food. Um, I know Ox since I was 16. Um, I meet Biggs in St. Lucia. I meet Biggs in St. Lucia. He's the godfather to my child, my, my daughter St. Lucia. Yes. She's five months. She's born in St. Lucia. She ain't left the island yet, but soon, hopefully, I can get her over here to Ghana. That's the, that's the plan. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Uh, and me and Biggs, we, we come here together. We um, come on the plane together. So we left from St. Lucia. We, we went from St. Lucia to Barbados. Done one night there. Then we traveled to Panama. Done one night there. Traveled from Panama to Turkey. Another one night there. And then we ended up in Ghana from there. So, T, you met Biggs in St. Lucia. Yeah, so, so you left Jamaica. We came here from um, 2019. Ah! Living in St. Lucia. Okay, so were you doing food in. In a restaurant, that's how I met them. In Jamaica. Buying food from a restaurant. Guys, this story getting nice and sweet. Roll that again up. <laughs> no, no, no. You. Biggs, you left Jamaica in 2019. Yeah. Straight to St. Lucia. Lucia. You were working at a restaurant in St. Lucia. Yes. And both T and us. Yes. There were customers at the restaurant. Yes. Yes. And hello. Me and T was on holiday in St. Lucia at the time. And I never went back. I, I stayed there. Guys, <laughs> 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 wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What year was this that you, you all went to St. Lucia? It's about a year and a half ago now. 
So, 2022? Yeah. Right? Right after, after COVID? Yeah, yeah, just after COVID. So, 2022. You're still wearing, we're still you're still wearing masks? Yeah. yeah. So, 2022? Yeah. From the UK? Yeah, from the UK. To St. Lucia? I left from Ghana. You left from Ghana? I went to meet him. In, in and you meet. But you guys knew each other yeah, from man. UK, yeah, right? Yeah. Very close. Yeah, man. All right. So, you end up in St. Lucia, went to get some food. Yeah. Link Biggs. And you buck up. We see Biggs. a Jamaican flag. Yes. Well, as soon as this we see the flag, we say we're going there to yeah. eat. What? Over there, so we're going. We're gonna eat. I see them to him saying, "Yo, just at the end, just at the spot." Yeah, the terms, just at the end, just at the spot. You can come and can be there and have the vibes. And so you started to do some business in Saint Lucia. Yes. Yeah, I used to just go go and chill. It wasn't business. It was just like a respect. Yes. We had a respect for each other, so we just go and par with each other and reason and chill and have a little rum and dominoes and. Yeah. So at at when did you three decide that you're coming to Ghana? You're going to open a place called Ting Nice, and that Bigs must come. Well, it was a party shop. It was a party shop. We planned to open. It was a party shop. We plan to open. Yes. Yeah, you know, I told him that I don't know how to make the party. I have to see some of the meat first. Yes. Before I can try and do something. Get it correct. So, whose idea it was to come to Ghana ox. and open up Ox? Yeah, man. It's Ox. It's been vision. a dream for about 15 or uh, 18 years. And open, it has finally open happened. Open a Jamaican restaurant in. Ghana, you know. And then you have your Jamaican yeah. chef. So when you talk about it being authentic, you have the Jamaican yeah, that's authentic. bringing that. So yeah. even though you two guys are well connected to Jamaicans and other Caribbean, when you went talk about Jamaican food and authenticity, yeah. You have to have somebody who been yeah, cooking yeah, Jamaican food. So bigs, that's why them drag you come here. And he's the godfather to my daughter. Yes, yeah, so it, it's a it's a beautiful relationship yeah, yeah. going on. Now, okay, tell me when you officially opened. Twenty eighth of December. Well, then it's not a month yet, you know, people. And, and and this whole building two months ago was rubble on the floor. <gasps> It wasn't even here. So you, this is all remodeled yeah, or built. you build? Yeah, man. I charge my phone and show you the, the pictures when we're done. When we're done, ask, hold on a little bit. Hold on, hold on. 24 hours. Oh, wait, sl go. slow it down. Dan, it's excited, you know, guys. Yeah, man, we start the project on wait, the yes. of November. Okay. First of November, November. 2023. Yes. You got this place. Yes. It was, and you, it, it was, it was, um... It was just a space. Like a open land. Like. Open land. Dirt on the floor. Dirt. Yeah. Right. Like a plot of land. Yeah, yeah. it's open. And you got this built the 1st of November. Yeah. And it com was completed. It completed, yeah. And you of officially opened Ting Nice on the 28th of December, 2023. Yeah. People, let me tell you something. I came in here, you see? You have customers in here. And guys, while I'm observing, I don't know what's going on. I mean, your location, I like the spot. It's on the high street. But guys, they have a traffic, traffic coming in for somewhere that's, I mean, I am blown away. But I will say to you, the comments that I've read on your uh, social media, Instagram, it also says, Ting Nice Food up there. Yeah. So kudos to your bigs, but yeah. I go and try it and rice, test it out. Rice, well, Shelly, you know. <laughs> I'm going to ask you for your for your for see your identification because you don't <laughs> sound like no Ghanaian to me at all. Uh, um, guys, tell us more about Ting Nice. So basically, you said you have been thinking about having a restaurant for about eighteen years. Eighteen years. Yeah, I was too connected to England at the time, you know. I always used to run back to England, run back to England, but now I'm say, but there. T, and this is your first time touching? Yeah, first time in Ghana. First, have you been in any other country on the continent? 
No, I've never been to Africa. Never been to Africa like never myself. Africa. And so your your introduction yeah, to I've Africa is like the Caribbean. The Caribbean. America, so your places, introduction yeah. to the continent of Africa. Yes? Yeah, your yeah. brethren turf is Ghana, like myself. How do you feel um being here in it. Ghana? I love it. I think it's the most safest country I've been to. Like I feel so safe. I'll be at four in the morning in a taxi, my Rolex on my wrist, nothing. No trouble. No one pre me. Like, you know, I, I really like it. I, I really Lord T, like you hang around too much Jamaica, man. Pre. <laughs> eh? Nobody now pre you. <laughs> eh? No man. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Um, I, I think that's I think that's wonderful, right? So right here, you guys are energized. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um obviously we're not going all the way down there, but guys, I can tell you it's a big enough space down there. What do you have? other exciting things to come with thing nice right, so, so, we're thinking, so we're thinking about doing a street party uh, like a, a street party we want to bring jamaica to ghana and show them how we have street parties and we just vibes and we rock and, you know and that's what we really want to do get outside there shut the road off and have a big street party jamaica Ox? Outside, you know? what you uh, uh. I just want to give them the really hard man vibes. And we want all the Jamaican community to come down and feel at home. This is this shop is for Jamaicans and everybody else. Yes. But we want the Jamaicans and the Caribbean people to come here and feel at home. Yeah. You know? But the Ghanians in the house because see, we have the Ghanians. So you, 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 and let me tell you, it's Africa, is Africa right here, so because yeah. Ghanians can come and get a Caribbean yeah. Jamaican feel. Yes, yes, but I understand the Ghanians can party too. So we're going to see. But but come on, Ox, you know that you are Ghanian, you know. Of course. Right. Yeah, so this is going to be the spot yeah, to where you have the full Monty. We should say your oh. food, yeah. your liquor. Yeah, and you'll be having street parties. Street parties. Yeah, okay. Man. What else do you um tell me a little bit more about the menu? Because you have a fusion. Do you you have Ghanaian meals on there or yeah, what? Man. The only thing Ghanaian we do is jello rice and fried rice. Uh, and fried rice is technically Chinese. Chinese but so it's straight Jamaica. Mm. Ox, what would you like to say to the people out there about Ting Nice? Why, why is it that they need to come to Ting Nice? The name says it all. Got the Ting Nice. <laughs> Everything nice about, about the thing, isn't it? Mm. But you have done a lot of investment here. Yeah. Right in building this up, so the vision that you have, you're gonna work this. We're gonna take this all over Africa. This is gonna be, we're gonna take Ting Nice to another level. By the time we're done with um, Ting Nice, it's coming like KFC, you get me? All over franchise, everything. Bringing Jamaica to the Africa. that's exciting. So, like how I love go to Kumasi, yeah, we can look forward to in the future a Ting Nice in Kumasi. And we have, we have other products coming like the Ting Nice patties. You know, we have like the thing nice juice uh -huh. that's gonna come. Branded. Yeah, ma'am, everything branded. Local you know? juices. We we'll start like the carrot juice, sour sap juice. Yeah, man. All of these juices are just like. It's just the early juice. days right now. Like, but of course. We've only been here since the 28th, so there's only so much we can do right as of yet. But the, the vision's there, and we, Ox has already done the hard work. So we just gotta push it now. Ox, big up yourself. Yeah, man. Right? Off camera. I'm going to need to look at some form of identification, preferably where you have your country of origin. Um, that, that's the only way I'm going to believe it. Because, guys, I mean, come on. You have heard Ox. Um, he sounds just too Jamaican for my liking. I know wife is Jamaican still. Uh, T, any last words you want to say to the global space? Because Diana's channel is global about Ting Nice. Yeah, just come to... Come and eat some good Jamaican food and get that Jamaican experience. And yeah, thing nice. Everything nice. Everything nice. Everything Bigs, nice. load it up for me. Everything you. nice. Everything nice. You Jamaican food. Well, I go and say this, you know, Bigs. You know how to cook rundown, salt mackerel rundown? Yes. Well, may I forgot to try and get the salt mackerel, some mackerel, guys. I would love to be able to have that on a, a menu. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to ask you one final question. First ox. To the diaspora, 
or anyone in the global space who has been hearing about the continent of Africa, they have been hearing a lot of noise about Ghana. Why should they put Ghana on their bucket list? Shoot. Because Ghana is a motherland, you know. And Ghana is a peaceful place and a very friendly place, you know. And it's a good place to come experience Africa. You know, and also it's the gateway to Africa. I concur. T, why Ghana? Ghana, because they're just nice people all together. Polite. Yes. You know, so polite. Make you feel so at home. Don't make you feel no different. You know, since I've been there, I don't know that I'm English. They just treat me like one of their own. You know, like, they're really nice people. And yeah, just, I, I told the world to just, you know, because I feel like as Europeans, and even in the even in the Caribbean, you only get to see what they want you to show. The government, like our government, want you to show you really is Africa. That's not what Africa is. Come, you see rich people. You see people living good. Come, everybody, just come, man. That's what I say. Bigs, one final thing to your family, friends, and those who you don't know back in Jamaica. Why Ghana? Yeah, Ghana is a nice place, man. For my family, they told me welcome home. Everything I like the vibes. And we can agree. We we'll look like Ghanaians until we open mouth and like talk. It, yeah. Everybody <laughs> speaks to him in treat. Like when it. we leave the restaurant at night and get in our taxi, the, the taxi man speaks to him in treat. Guys, there you go. That's yeah, correct, yeah, Biggs. That's yeah, correct. Africa. Guys, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for coming. Ox, T. Yeah. And every time, Biggs. I wish you guys the best. You notice how often you hear the word nice? Yes. That's the reason why the place named Ting Nice. <laughs> if you enjoy this video, I want you to give Ting Nice much love. Right? I can't tell you how I heard about you. Pop up on a WhatsApp group, I mean. And it's the menu I saw. I said, Diane, you are calling people. And here we are. I wish you the best. Thank you. Much success. Amen. Not one month yet. And the place Ooh. look nice. <laughs> Things are gone. <laughs> so the best is yet to go. Guys, if you enjoyed this, please share, 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 like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Medasi. What you say to that, Ox, when I say Medasi? It's a pleasure. Same thing, he is not Ghanaian. God bless. Joke. <laughs> One love. One love. One love.